Hello and welcome. This is Kara and I'm doing a bit of a different video today. I know many of you love the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be fun to start doing some shop with me videos and hauls and then a little project. I'm gonna have to work on my videotaping skills at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, I get a little nervous when there's people around. So in these past clips, I was kind of showing you some things that I saw at an, a recent Dollar Tree. And then coming up here, oh, and these folders. If these are still available, grab them. They're gorgeous. And we're going to make a file folder folio coming soon. And then there's these planner items. I haven't seen planner items like this in a while. And then my daughter recorded. She did it uh, vertical, so sorry about the black sections, but <laughs> that's the, that is the shop with me portion. And now let's head over to the hall. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite things. I have not seen this. I guess it's been around for a while, um, but I haven't seen it in any of the Dollar Trees until, well, obviously recently. I am super excited about these. I got one of each of the sizes that I saw. This one is three and a half by four and a half, and it's a coin envelope. How cool is that? And I love, my favorite thing is that it's craft. I love it. And then there's the stamp size coin envelope or coins, I guess. But I think of the size for like little stamps. How cute. There's the difference in size. And then there's a large one. This is just so cool. <laughs> ah, I just love it. And I'll tell you how many. There's 30 in the small. How many? Uh, 20 in the medium and 15 in the large. So there's the size difference. Very, very cool. Very excited about those. So if you see these, go grab them. <laughs> it's definitely like my favorite thing. All right, where to now? So these have been around for a while. Um, we, my daughter and I, when we went, we had an idea uh, for junk journal kits like that I will put in my shop, like physical kits. Um, and I'm gonna actually show you what we're thinking um, as part of the craft today. But I think these would be really cute dangles and I'll show you what I mean. Um, this one might be a little too big, but still super cute. This would be great if you were making a Halloween, like apothecary kind of thing. But, all right, super cute. And then, I picked up the scarf. I've already cut it. <laughs> I had one plan for my craft that I was going to do and then it went awry. So the, um, we're going to do something different. <laughs> Not everything turns out the way that the brain envisioned. I picked up this pack of beads. I think these are fun. They're all sticking. Oh, they're coming out. Okay. Well, yeah. Ah! What the heck? Okay, so anyway, I picked up this pack of beads. We're moving on before they go everywhere. And then I, as part of the failed plan, I got this baby headband and there was a pink one and a white one and I don't know what I did with the white one, but how cute would this be? Okay, this, bear with me. This is a Christmas journal, but what if this was a summer or spring kind of journal that would be so cute as a cover like a little embellishment on the cover really cute oh my christmas journal is falling apart all right where to next how about some baker's twine we've seen this before i also picked up the fall colors that i'll do in my fall fall haul <laughs> but then at another one this store had the things i hadn't been to this store before this is like the one to go to um 87 yards and i love the color i just wow yeah perfect okay picked this up and these are the gift sacks there's eight of them and these this flower i thought these would kind of coordinate well together for again a summer journal or a fun embellishment you can cut this apart this could be a flip 
And then there's also the envelopes. So you could use the envelopes like as an envelope folio. So it's a twofer. And then uh, I'm sure that I have these in my stash already. I've seen these before, but I picked them up again because they're just really, really cute. And pink and purple. I thought these would be fun if I was to do something using these colors. It's really, really pretty. And then I saw these. These were new to me. These are gorgeous. And then I thought, oh, I haven't listed my music, Christmas music journal yet. It's right here. I can add some of these musical instruments as a little embellishment into the journal. I thought that was perfect. So I'm going to do that. You have to let me know. Do you prefer the the haul this way or in the past they did a face forward where you, where you see my mug <laughs> let me know if you prefer just hands and talking or if you want to see me all right these i i don't know if i've ever picked these up but they're self laminating sheets which is great if you want to use them as um like in specimen cards you know you could put your little specimen in there or like a dried flower would really be cute so I got those, and then I picked up these stamps. I'm excited to test these out. I think they're beautiful. I was in a flower mood. And then picked up some glitter in the green and the blue. This was also part of um, this and wanting to make some, I think we we're thinking about blue and green uh, fabric kits. So we were picking these up, but I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna show you in a second what my thought is. And then it's been a while since I have found file folders that I fell in love with. Um, one of my most popular videos is my Dollar Tree file folder video. And I'm gonna remake a new one, like an updated version. Um, but I hadn't seen file folders that really drew me in, but these are beautiful. Now hopefully in your Dollar Tree they're still there because these are part of the back to school stuff. But I love the teal, you get three of them. And I love that there's foil. And then this one with the purple. And then the pink and orange. I think this is my favorite. And then to go with it, there's this little um, book with little sticky notes. How fun is that? So, um, I mean you could probably die cut this out or use them as like background who knows i don't know i just thought it was cute and they had matching ones for all the different colors or just use them as sticky ones um all right moving on so let's see <clears throat> uh the butterflies see i have a whole butterfly themed project but look at these beautiful stickers aren't they great they could be boho they could go summer i just think they're really pretty and then here are some of the the uh, planner things that I saw in the past and I wish I had it out I'm not sure where it is I can link the video here in the corner I made an ephemera holder hold on let me find it here it is I made this small ephemera holder oh, a few years ago using uh, the planner and what's neat is this size cover is even bigger. It could still be a small ephemera holder, but a little bit bigger, which is great. I actually really like this cover better, too. So, yeah, this stores all my little vellum stickers. All right, so I'll link that below, above, somewhere. What video if you're interested. And for the inserts, you could use, you know, several packages of these or... I was thinking instead of the thicker pa uh, you know, pages, which is nice because it's sturdy, you could probably use these as pockets. I think that would look pretty good as well. And then they also had the discs, which is nice. I think these, yeah, no, these are Dollar Tree discs. So, cool. And then let's see. Almost done. Still looking. All right. So then <clears throat> they had these mushrooms for 
coming out for fall earlier in the year back when Jessica Paper Terrace was doing her Dollar Tree uh, challenge. I found these. Remember that huge haul I did? <laughs> well, I have had this on my mind <laughs> to do this and I'm going to show you today um, to make these into dangles. So there's two different styles. You might have some of them in your stash. And also during that time, during Easter, they had these foamy ones and I'm going to guess that they're going to bring them back for fall too. So I'm going to show you um, what you can do with all of those little dangles. And then if we were doing something with the butterflies, this was also from that same haul. I pulled these out. Butterfly stickers and the stencil because I figured we could make a project with. And probably not today because I want to show you that other thing. But if, um, let me know if you're interested. We could do something with the butterflies. I'm going to show you what I was thinking with the mushrooms. Okay, so I've done some painting off camera and I painted up the little mushrooms. <laughs> I use this one. I use Dina Wakely acrylic paint and gilt. Give it a little shine. And then I used a combination of festive berries for the red mushroom, tea dyed, crushed corduroy, and gathered twigs mainly because those are the brown paints that I have. And then I did kind of a spooky Halloween-ish one with black and gray. So those are painted. Um, they're a little tacky. They're not quite dry. Oh, and then I put a coat of glossy accents over them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little drill that I purchased on Amazon. I will link it below and drill a hole in the top of these. And then we'll add the little eye hooks and then these can become little dangles for the side of a journal, adds to the front. So yeah, let me do this really quick. Careful. And you want to, <laughs> it's a little slippery with the paint. In and out kind of thing. Oops, make sure we turn it off. A little slippery with the paint. I did one where I added this before I painted and it didn't slip around as much. And there we go. So this is the one I did before I painted. And then the nice thing if you do it first, you have this to kind of hold on to as you paint. All right, let's do another one. This flatter top might be easier. That didn't slip around as much. And I'm just kind of eyeballing the center. And just twist it in. Very cool. And then let's do this one. simple. Oops. Okay. So then once you've added your I think they're eye rings you can add to a paper clip to and you can just put this on here like that. And you could even dangle it off one of these clips. And then you could dangle it on the side of a journal. You could make a full dangle, right? Or you could add it kind of like a little dangle on the back. You wouldn't have to add this. You could just attach it to fabric on the top but I think a fun little dangle on the side would be really cute. Also let's try a paper clip. And 
And then if you have a paper clip, add it to a page. And look how cute that is. It's really cute. Yeah, so possibilities and however you paint them, I mean, it could match your journal however you would like. Cute, right? And then, remember these? Same idea. So, I'm gonna get one of these. And then the glitter, I thought we could add to the jar. And this would be cute if it was, maybe we'll do the green. So maybe like spooky Halloween. And I'm sure it'll come out with Halloween color glitter or let's hope. And let's put, these are little stars. I think these might be cute. Now I think the hardest part is going to be getting them, maybe like the little funnel thing into the jar. Ah. The funnel thing is not funneling so well. Let's add, I'm going to clean this up, <laughs> a little of these little sparkly bits. I'm going to put the lid on because knowing me, I will knock it over. Try this funnel thing again. getting glitter everywhere sparkly for days and then we can put the, the lid in here and probably to be safe I mean you can either really cram it in there or just to be safe let's add a little glue so this will stay That E6000 glue would probably be the best, but I'm going to give this a try. You could use Tim Holtz alcohol inks to make this even more spooky. You can color the glass before you put the items in. Alright, so then that will dry, but let's go ahead and Put the hole in the top. And just twist it. You know what? You probably don't even need to use the. Yeah, oh yeah, you here. You don't even need to use that. You can just poke the hole and then twist. You just need to get the eyelets. You could probably find these. Um, Michael's, I ordered, mine came with my little tool. Michael's or Hobby Lobby would probably have them in the jewelry section. Oh. There we go. And then same thing. We can add out or you could do wire wrapping you know and add some beads or different charms but how cute is that and then this could be a dangle also so cute all right so let me know in the comments what should we make next should we make the file folder folio or should we do something fun with these or 
my little butterfly craft. Oh, I forgot to show you. Let's also try one of these. So this, um, keep your eye out. I bet they'll have fall colored mushrooms. And since it's foam, I wonder if we can just add these. Like the court, yep, and you just twist it in. This, you might want to add like a little bit of glue to keep it there, but that's really cute. Get to a paper clip. What a cute little dangle. I love it. I love it. And then this one's so tiny and cute. Let's see if I put two on. Probably. Cute. Might be a little too much, but you get the idea. <laughs> so fun! So we have our mushrooms and our little glass bottle of potion. <laughs> Cute! All right, again, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And um, also, uh, the comment about face forward or hands down or if it matters to you. Oh, and I also found the white one. So this is the white baby headband that I think would also make a cute journal closure. And that's all. I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.